at the ball game by Eugene Field what gods or heroes, whose brave deeds none can dispute, will you record, O Cleo, on the harp and flute? What lofty name shall sport of echo grant a place on Pindus' crown or Helicon's cool, shadowy space? Sing not, my Orpheus, sweeping off the tuneful strings, of gliding streams and nimble winds and such poor things, but lend your measures to a theme of noble thought, and crown with laurel these great heroes, as you ought. Now steps Rhinus forth at call of furious Mars, and from his oaken staff the sphere speeds to the stars. And now he gains the tertiary goal, and turns, while whiskered balls play round the timid staff of Burns. Lo! From the tribunes on the bleachers comes. A shout, beseeching bold Ansonius to line him out, and as Apollo's flying chariot cleaves the sky, so staunch Ansonius lifts the frightened ball on high. Like roar of ocean beating on the Cretan cliff, the strong Comus gives the panting sphere a biff, and from the tribunes rise loud murmurs everywhere, when twice and thrice Michaelius beats the mocking air. And as Achilles' fleet the Trojan waters sweeps, so horror sways the throng, Pfeffrus sleeps. And stalwart Connor, though by Mercury inspired, the Equus Carolus defies, and is retired. So waxes fierce the strife between these godlike men, and as the hero's fame grows by Virgilian pen, so let Clarksonius Maximus be raised to heights as far above the moon is moon or lesser lights. But as for me, the ivy leaf is my reward, if you a place among the lyric bards accord, with crest exalted, and oh, people, with delight, I'll proudly strike the stars, and so be out of sight.